Hi, this is Eric and today I wanted to make a real uh, quick video about the bill of materials and how to export uh, the schedule to Excel. Um, so as you might know, uh, when you go into the piping uh, dialog, let me show you real quick, uh, there's the options button where you can configure um, the bill of materials. Um, so here I have unique item for each pipe. Uh, that allows me to list out each individual pipe. So you can turn that off if you want. Uh, so I thought I'd show you that. A lot of people miss that sometimes. Um, also, just make sure the bill materials is turned on when you do your drawing. And then in order to create the bill materials, we're just simply selecting this button here. And then create the bill of materials is here. Now, I have it selected to file. Uh, normally in past videos we've always had this option which allows you to paste the schedule directly into the drawing. Um, if you uh, want to see some of our past videos I'm going to leave a link at uh, the bottom of this video so you can uh, find out how to do that. Uh, but for this video we're just going to show you how to save it to a file. So just select this, the comma delimited file uh, which is this which uh, Excel understands. And now we're just ready to create the bill of materials. And here you can uh, see where it's going to be saving the bill of materials to. But if we wanted to save it somewhere else, we just select new file. Then we go into, let's say the desktop. Here I have one that I've created uh, this morning. Uh, let's just pick this one and we'll select save. It asks us if we want to replace it, yes. And now it's just a matter of uh, going to that file in Excel and then opening that up. Well, let's see if we can find that. And here it is. Uh, but you'll notice that there's no headings on this uh, bill of materials. Uh, so there is an option uh, in MetQ where you can turn that on. And let me show you where that is. So if you go down and do the create bill of materials again, there's a little check mark here uh, that you might miss. And just make sure that's turned on and then choose overwrite, to overwrite the old file. And now let's go ahead and have a look at this again. And now we've got these headings up here at the top uh, and we can just pull these uh, columns over as needed just to include the full description. And if we wanted to paste this into the drawing, this whole thing, we would just highlight it, right click, choose the copy. And then when we go back into our CAD application, we can just select edit and then paste special. Select the paste link because that allows you to click on it and edit it. And from here, it's just a matter of putting the schedule in. As you can see, it's super small, uh, but we can scale that up as needed. So let's just put it down here. Let's zoom down into it and then scale it up. Here I'm just pressing my space bar to get into the scale command once the uh, node is highlighted. Let's scale it up by uh, uh, 48 times. That should give us a real big schedule. Let's just select this and move it down. Okay. All right, so now we've got the schedule. Let's go ahead and zoom down on it again. Now if we highlight it and then select the uh, schedule from this node, just double click on it. Now let's say if we wanted to come back into our schedule and just modify one of these items. I don't know, let's just add a remark over here, a test remark, and we'll go ahead and save it. Now, as you can see, that the test remark has been saved into the uh, into the schedule. If we want to actually edit this schedule again, all we need to do is double click it from the node in the middle. It loads the schedule open, and if we wanted to add another one, kind of same kind of thing, just close this down. And you can see this test two in there. So. I just wanted to show you that real quick. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to call. Uh, the number here is 888-271-7121. And we hope this helps. Have a great day. Bye.